my dear friends namaste my name is siddhartha krishna today i want to talk about abhinivesha when i was a child i used to play a game with ants when i used to poke at them they would run away from my finger unknowingly i was triggering their self preservatory tendency this is called abhinivesha all creatures have this tendency you can see it from an ant to an elephant all humans have it too this tendency is instinctual in humans it manifests as fear this is why veda vyasa explains abhinivesha as the fear of total annihilation it is about maintaining the constructed central i and whatever feels pleasant to it this is why we constantly fear that our wealth power body and even our titles or labels will be taken away etymologically abhinivesha refers to a tenacious feeling fear is like this once it gets hold of a person it is very difficult for them to get rid of it this is because this self preservatory tendency is deeply rooted in our body this can be seen from our spinal reflexes such as withdrawing our hand from a hot object or blinking our eyes in response to a rapidly approaching object this self preservatory tendency had tremendous evolutionary advantage it was very useful when we were less intelligent with intelligence it is better to face a precarious situation with clarity of thoughts than with lack of clarity due to fear best pilots are those who can keep their emotion of fear under check and can continue to think clearly even under tremendous stress yet this tendency is tenaciously present within us as a remnant from our pre-human past but because it clouds our understanding and drops us from our peace of mind now it is more problematic than useful the taittiriya upanishad suggests that a person who has experienced the blissful nature of the self becomes free from fear in all places and at all times this is because atman cannot be annihilated so someone who identifies himself with his true nature does not need to fear self annihilation thank you very much namaste